If you've ever had a uh, MacBook Pro, or if you've got a MacBook Pro, especially the 2011 model series units, um, and you're finding that you can't get it to either acknowledge the hard drive, um, or if it can see the hard drive if you can't format it or complete a format, um, there's a good chance that you may have a, um, a, a damaged data cable. Now, what happens here? Because the, the aluminium surface inside is quite rough, and just with the vibration of the drive operating, because it's not actually physically, like, properly mounted, it's secured inside of rubber supports, so it's got a wee bit of flex. Um, what happens um, is just basic movement and of the drive inside the unit, or even when you pick up and move the uh, computer around, what happens is the cable here um, underneath actually wears on onto the aluminium body, and it eventually works its way through or wears its way through. So what you do, well, easy way to test it anyway. Um, this is is if the cable hasn't fully worn through and damaged, is get some insulation tape, uh, like I'm doing here, um, and just cover both sides of the cable. Um, or both ends of the cable, the end that goes between the hard drive and the middle mount, and the end that goes between the middle mount and the main board, or logic board, is what Apple calls them. But anyway, um, what this does <coughs> is it insulates uh, the cable from the aluminium bodywork because uh, SATA signals are, are differential signals, so the data is sent and received. Um, on separate pairs, but the data is equal but opposite on each pair. Um, so your send, y y your pair of send wires has two signals that are identical but inverse or inverted, and they reference each other. Um, but what can happen if you if the cables manage to wear through? Um, it can short out one of these wires, and it only has to be one of them, and it'll actually cause issues with the drive. I mean, it may be a case that it can read the drive, but it can't send to it, or the data's getting corrupt as it gets through, which is generally what seems to happen. Um, easy way to test this, if you want to see if it's your hard drive or not, um, well, it, it, the easiest way is just to just take the cable out. It's a couple of screws and off you go. Um, otherwise, you take, uh, lift the cable up, slide a piece of paper between the cable and the chassis, and turn it back on, see if it boots into the OS. If it does, sweet, you're most of the way there. Um, if it doesn't, you may still find that you might need to just get hold of another cable. And they're not expensive, they're on eBay for between 5 and $25, depending on who you're asking and where from. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's not a hard repair job anyway, or a, a hard test. Um, but what you may find is, once you've done this, you'll have to go into the Disk Utilities thing which is under the recovery options um, just to do a repair on the file system because once you've done that um, if it's been running bad for a while it may have corrupted a bit and that'll cause a few issues or a few headaches as well so yeah just run it through um, let it complete and you pretty much should be back up and running hopefully um, without throwing away a perfectly good laptop